Now we're going to do the tendon injury exercise program for the supraspinatus tendon. So first again, you're going to warm your arm up by circling it in a position that's comfortable. It might be very wide, it might be kind of narrow, it might be leaning over, it doesn't matter. Do this for two to three minutes. After the person does that, they're going to stretch the supraspinatus. And to do that easily, you take a rope, have the thumb down, kind of lunge forward a little bit for balance, and then stretch your arm up as far as it will go. And hold that, hold that with the hand that's on top. And the other hand just kind of relax. I'm going to hold that for 20 to 30 seconds. And then the person relaxes, and they come down, they just relax, and then they do it again. Up, and they go as high as they can. And so they're stretching the supraspinatus where the thumb is down. Another way to do it is to hold on to a doorknob and sort of bend forward in a lunge. But then they do this several times. 20 seconds. 20 seconds is a long time. 30 seconds is a long time. Have them use a watch. And then they're going to do this again after they do the exercise. So now let's lie down on your side. And take the weight. And the weight starts just above the body about a half inch and goes up about 20 degrees and then down just above the waist. And you do that slowly about 10 times, exactly 10 times, not about 10 times. And then after you've done it 10 times, you then let your arm relax on your side for a moment, and then you do it again. Do another 10. And you can vary the speed. It can be slow, it can be fast, it can be moderate. It gets different types of fibers as you vary the speed. And you want the person to do this every day for six to eight weeks, at least two weeks after they're completely better. And now after they've done that, three sets of ten, it will be starting to get tired in the third set of ten if you have the right weight. Then the person does the stretch again, as we did earlier, but I'm not going to have her repeat it. You know what that was. You can go back and watch it. Then you have the person put their hand behind their back so that the supraspinatus tendon comes into the front and it's uh, visible and under the skin. Uh, if you have x-ray vision, it's visible. And then you just put it right, put the ice pack right in the front. Because if you put it on the side where the supraspinatus lives, it's going to be underneath the bone, underneath the acromion. Here they're going to get it right on the tendon. And the person can put their hand behind their back and lie on their back as well. Just doing it this way so you could see it more easily. So there you have it. You're going to do the warm-up. You're going to do the stretch. Uh, five times, 20 to 30 seconds each. You're going to do the exercise, three sets of 10. The stretch again, uh, five times, 30 seconds each. And then you do the ice for five minutes. And that is the supraspinatus tendon injury exercise program. Done.